Bethesda has always been known for creating vast immersive worlds. From the wastelands of the Fallout to the sweeping landscapes of Skyrim, they build a reputation for delivering experiences that players could sink hundreds of hours into. Naturally, when Starfield was announced, the expectations were sky high. It promised the vastness of space, countless plans to explore, and the kind of freedom that became synonymous with Bethesda's open world RPGs. But when it launched, the game fell short of many people's expectations. Instead of revolutionizing the space RPG genre, it felt like Starfield struggled under the weight of its own ambition. So when Shadow Space expansion was announced, there was a flicker of hope. Perhaps this could be the redemption Bethesda needed for Starfield. However, based on what I've seen and heard about the expansion, it seems that it has missed the mark once again. From the outset, Shadow Space inherits many of the problems that plague the base game. Just accessing the expansion's content appear confusing for many players. There's a little to no direction on how to get started, and you think after the criticism of Starfield lack of clarity, Bethesda would have actually made sure that the DLC was more intuitive. And unfortunately, players still find themselves turning to the online guys to figure out how to begin the new content. And when people finally make their way into the expansion, they were greeted with the expansion standout feature, Zero Gravity Combat. This was something that had the potential of add a fresh dynamic to the gameplay, but unfortunately that falls flat as well, literally. While Zero-G environments could create thrilling physics-based encounters, the result in sluggish movements and clunky mechanics, every shot pushes you back, and instead of making combat feel more dynamic, it feels like more of a hassle. This should have been highlight of the expansion. Zero G's combat had the potential to elevate Starfield's gameplay into something, maybe something perhaps truly innovative. But in practice, it was more awkward than exciting. One of the biggest criticisms of Shadow Space it is the story, or rather, how it's delivered. The basic premise sounds intriguing a secret experiment gone wrong, a tear in the space time, and a city dealing with the fallout. It has all the markings of the tense sci-fi narrative. However, Bethesda once again leans heavily on lengthy, slow dialogue scenes with stiff NPCs. From what I've gathered, players have struggled to stay engaged with the story. The pacing is reportedly slow, with too much exposition and not enough action, characters deliver long-winded explanations, and the emotional stakes never rise high enough to truly pull players in. Given the magnitude of the situation, a tear in the fabric of space itself, it's surprising that the sense of the urgency never translates into the dialogue or gameplay. You'd expect an expansion focus on such a like catastrophic event to have more of a punch, but it seems more like the slow burn that bogged down Starfield main campaign. What's even more frustrating is that the simple teaser video for Shadow Spade managed to convey more excitement and intrigue in under the minute than the game's actual storytelling does in the hours. While Bethesda Legacy includes iconic titles that define generations of RPGs, it's becoming clearer with every new release that the studio is stuck in the past. They're clinging to the formulas and mechanics that they made Skyrim and Fallout 3 successful over a decade ago, seemingly unable or perhaps unwilling to evolve. Players have seen greater games, more polished experiences, and tighter gameplay loops from other studios in the intervening years. The problem is no longer just about Starfield or Shattered Space, it's about Bethesda as a whole, as their ability to remain relevant in the gaming landscape that's rapidly outgrowing them. As exciting as the promise of future titles such as Elder Scrolls 6 and the next Fallout may sound on paper, there's little trust left that Bethesda will be able to deliver the quality expected. When Skyrim launched in 2011, it was a revelation in the open world RPG. But fast forward more than a decade and the same formula feels dated, clunky, and far too reliant on nostalgia. Gamers have experienced more dynamic storytelling, deeper world building, and more responsive game mechanics from other developers, whether it's CD Projekt Red with The Witcher 3 or Guerrilla Games with Horizon Zero Dawn. The gaming industry has moved forward, 
But Bethesda seems to be stuck. The release of Starfield and its expansion Shadow Space only highlights how much they're struggling to keep up. What worked in 2011 doesn't hold up in 2024, and fans aren't willing to give the studio a free pass anymore. There's a growing sense that the Elder Scrolls 6 and the next Fallout could be more of the same. Recycled mechanics, dated graphics, and storytelling that lacks the depth and engagement of the modern RPGs. Bethesda was once the gold standard for open world RPGs, but with the rise of studio like From Software, CD Projekt Red, and even Larian Studio, Bethesda's crown has long since slipped. Their stubbornness to stick to old formulas and reliance on their past successes has led many to see the studio as outdated. Players are no longer wowed by the sheer size of the game world alone. They want worlds that are not only vast, but also rich, interactive, and filled with meaningful content. Bethesda used to deliver that, but now they seem out of the touch with what modern gamers expect. Shattered Space doesn't just represent a failure to deliver a compelling expansion for Starfield, it symbolizes Bethesda's broader failure to evolve. The company that once pushed boundaries now seems content to recycle them, and in doing so they lost their edge. While the industry pushes forward with games that set new standards, Bethesda remains trapped in the design philosophies of early of 2000s. At this point, it's hard to see how Bethesda will regain the trust of players. Titles like The Elder Scrolls 6 may still generate hype, and perhaps including the future of Fallout, but there's just no guarantee that they'll be able to live up to it. The landscape has changed, and players have moved on. Bethesda's golden age may have come and gone, and unless they find a way to evolve and meet the standards of today's gaming world, they risk becoming a relic of the past remembered fondly perhaps, but ultimately left behind. Looking at shattered space, including Starfield, it's hard not to feel that it's a part of a larger trend with Bethesda. Once a studio that redefined open world RPG, they now seem to be falling behind, unable to capture the magic that made them great. The zero gravity combat, while ambitious doesn't land as it should, the story which had the potential to be gripping a sci-fi epic, it bogged down by long, tedious dialogue sequences that failed to engage. And instead of adapting to evolving gaming landscapes, Bethesda seemed stuck in the past, repeating the same mistakes. At this point, Bethesda's future is uncertain. While their legacy will always be remembered, their current trajectory raises serious doubts about their ability to deliver in the future. Shattered Space was supposed to be a fresh start for Starfield, but instead, it only highlights how far the studio has fallen behind. Do let me know as well, what do you think about Bethesda in itself? Do you think that they're completely outdated and perhaps they're just stuck in the mud? Either way, tell me down in the comments, I'd love to read it. Like and subscribe, see you guys all in my next video.